Hey guys, welcome back to Plants Today. I'm talking about some seeds. I started it off camera. I mean, I should have done it on camera, but oh well. Well, they are looking gorgeous today. And I will be turning around the camera here momentarily and I will show you all the seeds I started from seed. And sadly, I did not tag them because I I just like being a surprise, you know what I mean? Like, you, for you forget to tag and then it's like a surprise. So let me show you what all I got and maybe you guys can make it out of what they are and write it down in the comments below or show me what they are. So let me turn around the camera and I'll show you what they are. Alright guys, so he, this one is flowers while this one is um, vegetables. I just took off the lid just to open them and look at the vegetables. And I'll move on to flowers last while let's talk about the vegetables first and green peas and all that fun stuff so first off i got green peas look how beautiful that is so exciting let's look how beautiful it is and you can see like the little they actually dry the green peas i believe and and they just germinate them and they hatch out into new ones so exciting so you can actually tell this guy actually fell out so i had to fix it but you could see like it's like a dried up green pea so i'm gonna fix that in a moment and just fits it in a moment after I'm done filming this video. And, um, don't know what this is. It, it's some weird plant. See, I forget all the names because I forgot what they were, but I didn't tag them. Well, I did, but like I forgot to write the marker on it or a pencil, but it's fine. I'll just, I'm so excited to see what they are. It's gonna be exciting. Next up, got corn, just beginning. And the reason why our spring is beginning like soon, we're supposed to have one big last cold front coming in this coming weekend. And um, yeah, it's just gonna be cold and then warm all of a sudden. So hopefully that's what happens and it should be warming up very soon. Next up I got beets. I know this cause like I could see how it's red. Like look at that vibrant color and I know like, I know I actually, uh, some of them fell on the floor of this. So I'll, I'll be fixing that up as we go. So, um, but look, you can see the roots. So, so exciting. I love it so much. All right. Uh, get down there. There we go. All right. Um, next up, I got some really pretty. See, like, this is what happens. Like, when you do too much seeds, I'm going to have to cut some of it back not one like like half of it like make a little ring around and just the middle will be fine so i actually poured a little too much in here well almost every single one because the reason why i do that is because i want it to be full and yeah some of them were accidents like this like that <laughs> you know what i mean and then just beautiful i cannot wait for it to bloom and be gorgeous and then, yeah, don't know what this roll is either, so go wait for it to sprout and see what it is. Some of them are sprouting, but not too er it's too early to tell. Alright, get back on here. There we go. There we go. And I'll fix it, I'll get it on there later. Once I'm done with the video. Moving on to flowers. I got a bunch of flowers. And don't know what this one is, however. Like... Some rows are easy to tell while some of them aren't as easy. But I think these are sunflowers. I think so. I'm not really sure though. And then uh, just half of them didn't come up. I mean, Jeffrey Greenhouses are usually the best like seller, but oh, not too much growth. Like a whole row did not come up. Unless that's just my doing. I'm not really sure though. But then next up, I got wildflower mix. I did two rows of wildflower mix, this one and this one. And yeah, so wildflower mix for butterflies and hummingbirds and bees, looking gorgeous. And then next up, got another row for butterflies and hummingbirds and bees. Cannot wait for that to bloom in this coming spring and summer. And um, next up, got some um, tinamp. No, not Tanafi. That's an indoor plant, I believe. And, um, sorry, car going by. Um, see, we live, like, right on a main road, so there's always cars. This is our old house. We're getting ready to move. And, yeah, so, but that's for another video another time. And, um, but I was, 
do a video once I'm actually moved out and in a new house with all my plants. But back to seeds. All right, back to plants. All right, um, morning glory. Um, this is actually Mexican sunflower. Really, really gorgeous. Cannot wait for that to bloom. It produces the big red flower and like it attracts all the bees, butterflies, and hummingbirds. And um, well, mostly butterflies. And then next I've got morning glory. Can I wait for that to happen? Look how gorgeous that is. More morning glory, looking gorgeous. But that's pretty much it. So this is pretty much what I did and just started a whole bunch of seeds and let them take off. Like it's life and you gotta let them take off and look how beautiful that is. You're so gorgeous. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching here in Sarah's Tropical Garden. Hope you like it. Leave and subscribe and comment. Bye-bye.